Welcome to my channel dear students. So today let us continue with our constructions on polygons. So today we will see a special kind of polygon and the polygon is called hexagon. Okay. So hexagon is nothing but a regular polygon with six sides. Okay. So all the six sides has to be equal to each other and the construction of hexagon is very very simple. Okay. So let us begin with the construction of hexagon. Okay. So each side is given to be 2.5. Okay. So let me draw a line whose measurement is 2.5 centimeter. Okay. And the next thing that we are going to do here is we will take our radius of the compass to be exactly 2.5. Okay. So here we see that this is exactly 2.5. Okay. And from here we will draw an arc this way. Is that clear? Okay. Now without changing the radius let me keep it in the point A. Okay. And do the same till B. Okay. So I have done this. Now let me mark this point of intersection as point O. Okay. Now from O what am I going to do? I will keep my pointed edge in the O and let me keep it exactly at A. Okay. And from here I will draw a circle. Okay, so I have drawn a circle out there. Okay. Okay, the circle is ready. Now, don't change the radius. Keep it at B and cut this arc. Similarly, keep it out here. Cut the arc. Keep it out here. Cut the arc. Okay, and at last, we'll keep it out here and cut the arc okay and if you want to keep it out there and if you want to cut this will cut exactly at a okay now wherever you have cut the circle those points will be named as okay so this is my a this is my b let me call this a c this is my d this is my e this is my f okay so let me join all these vertices so we'll join b and c We will join C and D. Okay, so we have successfully finished our construction on hexagon. Okay, so A, B, C, D, E, F is a hexagon out here. Okay, so at last we'll write. Okay, so there's a question on hexagon. So you will try this question by yourself. So pause the video to note down. Okay, let us see this question. So here, construct a quadrilateral ABCD having AB equals to 5 centimeter, BC equals to 2.5 centimeter, CD equals to 6 centimeter and angle BAD equals to 90 degree. Okay, so as I said earlier, angle A is given to be 90 degree. So that's why we'll try to construct angle A first. Okay, and diagonal is given to be 5.5. So my rough diagram is out here okay so angle a is given to be 90 degrees bad is given to be 90 degree ab is given to be 5 bc is given to be 2.5 cd is given to be 6 and ac diagonal AC is given to be 5.5 centimeter okay so let us quickly construct our 90 degree okay so i have taken ab out here which is 5 centimeter okay and let me quickly draw 90 degree at a Okay, so this is my 90 degree. Okay, now from B, from B we have to take a measurement of 2.5 centimeters. So let me take the measurement to be 
0.5 centimeter. So I have taken radius to be 2.5 and from B we will take an arc with measurement 2.5. So from B I am taking an arc whose measurement is 2.5. Now from here from A okay so from A we will take a measurement of 5.5 so that I will cut this 2.5 arc okay at point C. So the diagonal is 5.5 so let me take 5.5 as my radius okay so 5.5 is taken and let me keep it at a from a it is 5.5 so uh, from a i am cutting this arc okay so this point of intersection will be my point c okay and let me join b and c so we have bc to be how much 2.5 centimeter okay and let me join ac as well Okay, so A and C has joined and uh, the measurement of AC is how much? AC is taken to be exactly 5.5. Okay, now from C, we see that we have to take a measurement of 6 centimeter. Okay, so let me take the radius to be 6 centimeter and from C, we will cut this line, this perpendicular line at D. Okay, so from C, let me cut this okay so this side is not possible so this side it is possible okay so this point will be my point d right so let me write this as d okay and ultimately let us join c and d as well okay and c d is equal to how much it is exactly six centimeter okay so we have finished the construction so at last we'll write Okay, so kindly do question number 35 as your homework, okay, pause the video to note down. Okay, now let us see the next question. So question says, construct a trapezium in which parallel sides AB and DC. So AB and DC are parallel to each other, okay. So both of them are parallel to each other. So let me put this mark out here, okay. So they are parallel and the distance between the parallel sides is given to be 3.3 centimeter. So that's why this distance which is measured in perpendicular fashion is given to be 3.3 centimeter. Okay. Now next is AB is given to be 4.5. AB is 4.5. Angle A is 120 degree. Angle A is 120 degree. BC is 3.6. Okay. And it is said that angle B is obtuse. That is this angle is greater than 90 degree okay so let us construct so let us first draw 120 degree okay so let me draw a b a b is ready with me so let us quickly construct our 120 degree at a Okay, so our 120 degree angle is ready with us, right? Okay, now next is, let us try to construct this 90 degree, okay? Because we have to take 3 centimeter distance between the parallel sides and these measure, this measurement is not given, okay? So let us first construct our 90 degree at B. Okay, so this is my 90 degree ready with me okay now this height has to be exactly 3.3 so that's why i'm taking the radius to be 3.3 here okay so i have taken 3.3 and let me cut this perpendicular line exactly at 3.3 okay so this is my 3.3 and this point will be my point e okay so this point is my point e Fine. Now, let us try to construct this parallel line. Now, this parallel line can be constructed by constructing this to be 90 degree, right? So, again, at E, we will construct 90 degree angle.
okay so this is 90 degree okay and wherever it gets intersected that point will be my point d okay now our next job is to construct site bc right so site bc is 3.6 so let me take this to be exactly 3.6 okay so 3.6 is taken now let me keep it out here now if i cut this way if i cut this way then i'll get this kind of figure okay and this is what this is an this is not obtuse angle this is acute angle this is less than 90 degrees so that's why i will i'll cut this way okay so if i cut this way then this point is my point c okay and if i join b and c then i'll get an obtuse angle right so this is one obtuse angle so here we see that this and this are parallel to each other right so at last we'll write pause the video to note down now this question is a bit complicated one but still you will be able to do if you practice this regularly let's see the question so the perpendicular distance between uh, the pair of opposite sides of a parallelogram are 3 cm and 4 cm. So basically this 3 cm and 4 cm are not the adjacent sides. Okay, so the parallelogram is given and the distance between the parallel lines. Okay, for example, if this is my parallelogram, then the parallel sides here are these two, right? And this one and this one these two are parallel according to question distance between this and this they are parallel is given to be three centimeter distance between them that's perpendicular distance okay so is given to be four centimeter in between them okay and it is given that one of the angle measures 60 degree so let me call this angle to be 60 degree okay so we need to construct this particular parallelogram so let me draw a line long line okay and let me name it as a i cannot name b at here at this side okay because we don't know what is the length of this okay so that's why i'm just naming one side to be a and it at a i'm drawing 60 degree angle okay so let me draw 60 degree at a okay so 60 degrees is ready with me okay now to draw this 3 centimeter which is perpendicular okay which is perpendicular what we are going to do here is we'll draw the perpendicular bisector of this line okay so if you want to name this as q that will be better okay so we'll draw perpendicular bisector of aq okay so let us quickly draw the perpendicular bisector and we already know how to draw perpendicular bisector what we do is we'll take the measurement to be slightly greater than the midpoint okay and we'll draw two arcs this way this is exactly my 90 degree right so this is my 90 degree and let us take the height to be 3 centimeter from 90 degree okay so let me take 3 centimeter as radius and let me keep it out here and let me cut it okay let me call this point to be point e now since we are constructing parallelogram we'll try to draw a line which is parallel to this line okay and from here if i want to draw parallel then i have to draw again a 90 degree angle at e right so let us construct 90 degree at e Okay, now this point of intersection will be my point D. Is that clear? Now, if you measure this distance, that is distance between these two parallel, it's exactly actually 3 centimeter. Okay, so we are going to do the same with 
this side as well okay so from here also we'll draw perpendicular bisector okay so let us quickly construct perpendicular bisector for the line let me call this to be p okay so we'll draw perpendicular bisector of ap Okay, so perpendicular bisector is drawn, so this is also 90 degree. Now, from this 90 degree, from this 90 degree, we have to take a measurement of 4 centimeter. So, let me quickly take the measurement to be 4 centimeter. Okay, so from this 90, I am drawing this. Okay, so this is exactly how much 4 centimeter. And let me call this point to be f okay so this point is my point f now our next aim is to draw a line which is parallel to ad okay so from here we have to draw a line parallel to ad so for that we need to draw 90 degree angle at f okay so let us quickly draw 90 degree at f Okay, so we have drawn 90 degrees, so this is 90 degree and when I draw this 90 degree, we see that this and this are parallel to each other. Okay, so let me write this as B and let me write this point as C. Okay, so again, these two are also parallel here. So at last we'll write So pause the video to note down.